Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? Justice is a little bit more. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my small terrarium which as you can see the moss has grown inside there as you can see it a little closer up but I need to also maintain the inside of the terrarium and what how I'm going to do that I'm going to do that with springtail if you can see little white dots Little white dots are called the springtail. And on one of my channels, I've taken these out of the garden, which is amazing. One of the um, YouTubers said that you should buy these and that'll be enough. But I said, if they were on in the garden, then why not I try to gather some from the garden, since it's natural. And I've placed them in these containers. Now this container, I didn't manage to get any springtail in. So what I'll do is I'll transplant this container into a bigger container, which has a lid, which I'll put holes in and all I add is rice and I got some if you see it back there in the corner excuse it as it glows they do a certain purpose but and all those dots in the bottom of this container that's yeast and as you know yeast grows but insects feed off of that and that's what I'll feed the springtail the rice will mold in the container in the terrarium which I'll just place a couple of them in there and after a while the rice if it's real natural rice it will mold and the mold will be fed to the springtail so Let's get started. Let me, let, let's transplant some of the springtail into the terrarium. Maybe you can see it a lot better. All the little white dots, the springtail, they're healthy for terrarium, healthy for the garden. So I'll just pour some of them into it. Just like that. Put the lid back on this. Of course, I always believe in items that come out of nature try to form the same systems as in nature so it had air so in this terrarium there's enough air as I seal it up for the springtail that are in there and I think I'll add some yeast in there and I also have some mold fibrous material that I can gather from the compost bin. Let me add some of that. Stand by. Okay. We got some stuff from the compost bin. It's not much. But we don't have a large container. I'll just put just a little bit of this stuff in here. 
and place it on the corner back there. Right there. Right there. As you can see it. So I'm pointing at it. And we'll come back and revisit this. Of course, we'll add some more water to the situation. I don't use tap water. I got filtered water. I even use that. So, put a little bit too much water in the terrarium, tried to pour it out, and it moved the structure that I had there around. And what I'll do is I'll use a turkey baster, and I'll suck out some of that moisture so it won't be too much water, and I'll put that in the new enclosure standby. Okay. Most of the water taken out, as you can see, it's a little bit shaken up, but we get it situated right where we still have some springtail in there. And pretty soon with the little mix up of the foundation with the little rocks at the bottom, rocks at the bottom, and then the little um, film right here, and then the moss on the top. This still should be a successful terrarium. Let's close it up. It's plastic. And basically what this does is it, it actually is, is, is basically self-contained, so it will replenish itself, just like uh, Earth, where you have the ozone, you have the, the land and the grass, but key thing is to have mold, you have life, you have animals, and these are actually good for frogs. Frogs love these, and of course, you know, frogs are the bottom, basically the bottom of the food chain. And what I'll do is I'll just put this, I use, have this right around the um, fish tank, whereas Everything is in a container that allows life to continue. And of course, uh, I'll show you that that gets tied on top of the plastic just, just for um, cosmetic to make it look good. But that is how the terrarium will be now. This is where I put the excess water, which may contain a couple or two springtail. But other than that, what we'll do is we'll dump the small container into the larger container. And what this is, if you, you've seen my, um, my other videos on this, is that it's nothing but, and then this is, that's basically a cardboard, which is actually wood which was at the base, and then had the uh, wood charcoal, which is placed in there on top, and 
that is the end of this little container. If I should expand also the springtail from here, which I'll probably do to make another container so I can have as much as possible. Now, I'll take the mold and some of the uh, decaying stuff from the garden. But I'll also need to spread this around. This one has medicines to make it look somewhat presentable. Now, add the mold and some of the fungus from the compost which the springtail love. And I'll probably add this to the springtail collection and I'll show you where I'll have springtail in here and in here. And then I could do a large terrarium, maybe a 10 gallon aquarium. I'll do this, this system here in a 10 gallon or 20 gallon aquarium. The way the moss, the springtail, the whole environment looks, it looks lovely. It's like a picture, a slow moving picture that can hang on the wall. Getting a little sentimental there. Hold on. And that's how it looks. Move this up. That off the wall. Tilt it. That's how it looks. Murky. Mildewy a little bit. Let me get some more wood charcoal. Okay. This is about a wrap. This uh wood charcoal I'll just have it up here to a certain level as you can see with mold in there and everything I'll give it some time I'll add some rice and then I'll be back until next time